Bluetooth connected. Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be a four month review of this Rockville TM150 speaker set. I've already put out two videos on these speakers, one where I unboxed them and another one where I did a sound test. It sounded very good, very bass heavy, but you know what? There was a lot of negative feedback and I gotta say, I have come to the point where I agree with a lot of the feedback. So someone pointed out that these are basically white box van speakers. Uh, what that means is it is the cheapest speaker set you could purchase out of the back of someone's van. Now I purchased them on Amazon. That's not somebody's van, but you know what? Uh, they have broken and let me demonstrate what I mean by broken. So normally uh, When you pair it you have a normal Bluetooth pairing connection it says Bluetooth paired so let's Bluetooth connected. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to pair it right now. So let me put them on Look at right here where it's blinking. It's gonna say Bluetooth and let's pair it here on this iPhone Let's not go to Bluetooth it should be discoverable. I haven't paired it to this device yet. So let's see, TM150, let's connect. You'll notice that it will say connected, but there's no tone. So what does that mean? Yeah, you guessed it. It means that there's absolutely no sound coming from the speaker. I've already tried to play everything. Uh, it doesn't work. As you can tell, I have the original warranty card right here. What I will be doing, and I'm gonna make sure that you guys are along with me on the journey. I'm gonna be contacting the Rockville customer service. We'll see what they can do. The product is still covered by a one year warranty. On top of that, I made sure to purchase a Square Trade three year warranty that covers any repairs up to the purchase price of this speaker. But the only problem is, the Square Trade three-year warranty is actually only active concurrently and only after the product uh, original manufacturer warranty ends. So since I am in the first year of ownership, I will still have to contact the Rockville customer support. We will see what they can do and I hope I do not have to pay shipping back. And you know what, just for demonstration purposes, I'm still connected to Bluetooth. The Bluetooth light is not flashing on top of the speaker here, you could see, so it is an indication that it is connected. I'm gonna play one of my videos that I know that there is sound coming from it, and let's see what happens. I'm gonna press play here. So there is absolutely no sound. This was my original video, so you could tell that the speaker system was working. It was pretty fantastic, actually. Uh, it was really nice and bassy, but now it just doesn't work, although it is still connected. Let me show you guys. Let's go back to the menu here. I'll show you that it is actually still connected on Bluetooth. Right here, it says connected. So there should be no issue, it should play normally. I've also checked the FM settings and the FM radio also doesn't work. There seems to just be absolutely no sound coming from this unit. Uh, so that is a major malfunction. Although everything else seems to be working, the remote control is operable. Let's go to the FM, let's press it right here. You could tell that it is now 87.5. There's just no static. Normally, on a channel like this, without doing a seek or sending it to the right channel, there should be static. There's absolutely no sound coming through anywhere in the unit. Doesn't seem to be that there's anything I could do to it right now. So please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. So let's see what happens with Rockville and how good their customer service is. I'm quite disappointed for the time being. You know what I'm gonna be listening to? I'm gonna be listening to this Terrific Iowa Exos 9 right here guys. One of my favorite speakers. This is still not broken. I've had it for about two years now.